August 30th, August 30th, where we sit right now. If you were to ask me back in June, if we would have only had three name storms and no name storms on August 30th, I would have said no way, but I would have said yes, please. And, and that's where we are. And, and we haven't had anything develop or any name storms since July 3rd, but that could change soon. Invest 91 L, something that we're watching. We're also watching a tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. Both have the chance of development, but both don't look like they're going to impact the United States. Uh, Invest 91 L has the best chance of development over the next five days. Probably doesn't happen over the next couple of days, but by the time we get into Thursday, we may get a tropical cyclone. Let me show you a little bit closer here. We're starting to see some of that thunderstorm activity get a little bit more concentrated around the center. That would indicate the beginning stages of it trying to develop. There's a fair amount of dry air and shear around it right now, so it probably doesn't get much more organization over the next 24 to 48 hours, but it will track to the northwest, staying clear of the Caribbean, and then turning to the north and the northeast, heading up towards Bermuda. The American model, the GFS model, is a little bit more robust with its development, but it does have it becoming a hurricane, something that is possible, but it does look to turn north, uh, again, away from the United States, really more of a concern for Bermuda and potentially some fringe impacts in the way of surf and maybe some rip current concerns for the Carolina coast. All right.